Kentucky on a day like today? It means a lot. You know, it just shows that my coaches have you know trust in me and believe that I can come down here and represent the team well. And, uh, you know, above all, just um, you know, carry on. You know what they've done. You know at this at this program and, and just build a culture and you know get guys who are great people and that, that just carries over to the field. Something of an honor, I would presume. Absolutely. You know, something it's, it's a blessing and it's something that you know, ever since I've been here, I've wanted to do and uh, be a captain and uh, the leadership. You know, things like that is something that I'm definitely uh, I'm happy about. How did you guys react to the <laughs> quote about Matty? You know, um, what I seen that. You know, I sent a, I sent a link directly to him, you know, and because uh, that's something that we do. We, we hold each other accountable. And um, I think that that's the biggest thing you have to do when you're on a team, being a leader. And uh, Matt's, doing, Matt's doing fine. Matt's going to be good. Uh, you know, and he's going to respond to that. You know, and that, the whole defensive line unit is going to respond to that. And for that matter, the whole defense is going to respond to that because, you know, when, when somebody else is, you know, getting called out, that's a, you know, that's a direct correlation to, you know, the defense and, you know, our team as a whole. So, you know, we all want to, uh, you know, help make Matt successful, make our defense successful, and uh, so on. So, you know, when one guy gets called out, that's all of us getting called out. And, um, you know, I think we all, we have to respond. How much have you matured as a player since you were at this event a year ago? I think uh, definitely a lot, you know, uh, leadership-wise, um, definitely, you know, uh, got myself, you know, up there more. And I, I think I still need to be uh, better as a leader, um, you know, and, and just uh, on the field, I, you, know, I, you know, I have to be back in the film room. I have to you know, get on the field and get better at different things, shedding blocks, my footwork, and getting lower in my stance, narrow my base, you know, things like that. Um, and uh, just really taking it upon myself to make myself better and carry others along with me. There's a new rule that says you get a 15 yard penalty for a coach if they're on the field. You think Coach Stoops is going to be able to keep himself off the field this year? Oh, yeah, he will. You know, he'll do anything that, you know, that helps us, you know, helps us win games. And, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be tough for him, but, you know, because he's a, he's a fire guy. And, and I, that's what I love about him, you know. Um, uh, that's that's actually that's crazy that they, they, they made that rule because there's a lot of coaches like that, but uh, you know um, he can he can handle that. Who's, who's the get back guy on that staff? Who's the one that's supposed to pull Stoops back? Uh, you know? Usually, Coach Coach Ed, Coach Ed, he, Coach Ed, but he has that look in his eyes like you get back. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Ed's big, and uh, so he he pretty much lets guys know like back up. Like, how much better do you think the defense could be this season now that you guys sort of you know, play the season together, you know each other? There honestly, so I think we can be great. You know, we uh, we really stressed um, this this spring, you know, getting to the ball, you know, fighting. And uh, and honestly, I mean, our, our numbers changed tremendously. Like, they've been tracking, uh, I guess, over the years, how many, practice, how many uh, plays we had in the backfield. You know how many sacks we had, how many turnovers we had. And we've had, I think, the most that we've had since you know Coach Stoops has been here. So they have tracked all that. You know, it was just, it was really just a lot of effort this, this past spring. So this, the effort, the effort part. Um, you know, just straight into the ball and a mentality that you know we're not going to get beat off of just execution. We're not going to get beat off of effort. We're going to be the, the, the most hardworking guys on the field at all times, no matter what position you play. Anything impressive in the summer workouts? Or what you um, I, I, I would say uh, a lot of the younger guys, um, Cleveland Thomas, uh, Josh Basco, um, Jamin Davis, the linebacker. Um, you know, a lot of these young guys are coming in and really getting after it. And uh, it's, it's really exciting to see because, you know, they're, they're picking up right in the right direction to go into fall camp. And a lot of, guys, a lot of those guys are going to make their case to compete for a, a job and, you know, uh, just a, a roster spot, really. And, and um, it's going to be awesome to see. I can't wait.